Hello, my name is Federico Garza from Garza Web Design, and I am here today to show you how to upload pictures of your projects to the website. This particular tutorial is specifically aimed at those artists at Graffiti's Ink Gallery. And so let's go ahead and get started. All right, now uh, you can see here, here's the website. You can see how I'm logged in under uh, under an administrator pass, uh, password. And so I have a lot of access that you will not see. But you will see this top uh, administrator bar. And so what you're going to do is, let's say you go ahead and do a tattoo or a piercing or, or whatever. And you've taken pictures of it and you've got it ready to upload to the website. What you're going to do is you're going to hover over content. You're going to click add content so I've clicked that and then you've got some things here article may not may or may not show client may or may not show there's a lot of things that you won't see here that you're seeing right now but we go to project uh, project is a tattoo or piercing or makeup job created so let's go ahead and click uh, project and here we are and so we have the project name uh, artist tag. I'm going to be doing something for Mike today. So let's click on Mike. And I know it seems a little strange. You got to do this three times. I know it's kind of a pain, but it only takes about five seconds. So, and I'm not sure exactly what project we're going to do. So let's go ahead and choose a file. And I will see what he's got here. Uh, let's do the cross. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this just really quick. This is for for search engine optimization purposes. Cross. And um, I'm going to go arm. Uh, uh, and Mike is working out of Mechanicsville. Oh, tattoo. And then Mechanicsville. You can just leave everything lowercase. It's not that big a deal. VA dash Mike dash Walker. And I'll hit enter. And where'd that thing go? Uh, oh, there it is. No, no, where'd it go? Oh, there it is right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click this. And you can see that it took. And I'm going to click open. And here it is right here. So now what I need to do is I, so I've, I've, the website knows what file to get, but still hasn't uploaded it to the server yet. So I'm going to click Upload, and then it's going to take a little bit of time, depending on your the size of the picture and the speed. All right, so you see that it's uploaded here, and there's an alt text tag, alternate text tag. This is required for Google to see, to know what the picture looks uh, is all about. So I'm going to go, go cross, tattoo, and I'm going to go dash Mechanicsville, VA dash, and then the name of the artist. In this case, it's Mike. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to paste it in the title. And there's a second picture, so let's go ahead and upload that one too. So I'm going to choose that file, and I saw it down here somewhere. There it is right there. And I'm going to rename this file first. So I'm going to click on this until I can get it renamed. There we go. And so I'm going to do uh, cross two tattoo. It has to be a different name. And I'm going to go uh, Mechanicsville VA Mike Walker. And so let's see where that sucker went. Ah, there it is. So here's cross two tattoos. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. Just click on that. And you see that it grabbed it right here. And I'm going to click on open. And there it is right here. So I still need to upload it. And there it is. And I'll do the same thing here. Cross two. Actually, I should just go ahead. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this. Control-C to copy, 
click here, control V to paste, and I'm going to put a two here because Google doesn't like it when you have the same alt tags. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to select all that, control C to copy, and I'm going to control V to paste, and there we are. And so we have two different images for that project. And this is a black and gray, uh, actually, let's see. So what you want to do here is you want to put portfolio tags. And the purpose for the portfolio tags is so that the website knows what this project is all about. And if the website knows what the project is all about, then it can decide where it needs to go and how it needs to be seen and shown and all this other stuff. So the more things that you can tell about this particular tattoo or piercing, whatever project you're working on, the better off you're going to be. So uh, one of them is cross, and we know it's a cross, so I'm going to type CR, and you have a list of, there we go, so there's a cross. Now let's backspace, I'm just going to type C. So you have all the portfolio tags with the letter C in it. You can see cross, so I'm going to click cross. Oops, I clicked most recent, that was wrong. So I'm going to go here, and just backspace, CR, there it is. So let me go and click that, there we are, and now I'm going to click back in the portfolio tags box, put a comma, and then I know it's a black and white, or black and gray, and there it is, and it's on the arm, so I'm going to click there again, comma again, and A, R, and just let the website determine what is going on. Ah, there we are, it took a little bit longer, but there it is, arm, and we want to show author information. Now, for the purpose of this tutorial, I need to change this. I'm logged in under my name. So I'm going to click here, and I'm going to change this to Mike. Now, it, it will automatically know who you are and, and do this automatically. But just for the purpose of the tutorial, I've got to do this. But you, don't, you normally don't even have to worry about this unless you're uploading images for another artist. All right, so now I know it's a cross, and I, I wish I knew more about it, but that's okay. Cross on arm. Mike can come back later on and fix this. And then the project description is a uh, black and gray cross on upper arm. Mike Walker. Period. And like I said, the description is not very good. Mike can come in afterwards and fix it. Okay, so now I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, and uh, I'm going to hit save. And it takes a second. And here it goes. And so there it is. So we have two different images, so we can just click on one of these. And you can see the cross there. We have the name where we have the alt tag and the title that we typed in, it shows up right here. Cross Tattoo Mechanicsville um, Mike. Now what you can do is you can zoom in on this and you can get a good idea of what it looks like. Or you know, any potential uh, clients can get an idea of what it looks like. Here's the other picture we, we had loaded up too. So there it is. So it's kind of nice to be able, if you need to, you can take multiple pictures of the same project and you can show them. Uh, sometimes you want it in a bright light, sometimes you want it in a darker light. Um, it just gives any potential clients an opportunity to get a better look at your project. So, and I'm going to close this out. And there it is. Now, what's going to happen now is, well, let's just click on, on Mike's picture here. And it'll show his entire portfolio here. I don't have very many of these. Here, we can go to color. Shows all his color stuff. Black and gray. Shows all his black and gray stuff. You can go all. And so, this is the reason why you want to make sure you put arm or leg or flower or person, back, cross. So when you click these, you'll see uh, animal, uh, color, heart. So you can see uh, the importance of having these, these tags on each one of the projects. Well, that's it. I hope that this was very helpful for you. And 
let me know if you need anything else and give me a call or shoot me an email and I'll be happy to, to either call you or stop by the studio and do whatever I can to help you figure out whatever problem you have on this. Thank you very much and you have a good day. Again, this is Federico from Garza Web Design signing off.